Ida Bridgeport Realtor accused of stealing money from prospective home buyers is facing charges. A Hamden woman says she gave him a deposit for a new home. Weeks later, she's still homeless. That's when she called News 8 for help. News 8's Naked Nuosu has her back. Naked joins us live from News 8 Control. Naked. And Keith, that woman is one of at least a half a dozen victims. Police say they're people who were down on their luck, looking for a place to live, and left with nothing. I've just been getting the runaround. Bridget Jones needs an apartment, so she went to early real estate for help. But before she picked a place to live... He said, well, I'll need a deposit, and I only take cash. She gave the realtor $1,650, $1,600 for the first month's rent and security, and $50 for the broker's fee. After weeks of searching, the realtor never found the right home for Bridget. So I told him, I said, look, Maurice, I just want my money back, and I'll go find something on my own. And um, he's like, don't worry, Bridget, we're going to get you a place. We're going to get you a place. A promise he never delivered. Now the realtor, 48-year-old Maurice Early, is charged with larceny, accused of taking thousands of dollars from customers. I feel numb because that's the money I have to move with. We went to Early's Bridgeport office Friday. Doors were locked and lights off inside. Early may not have been here today, but we're told that he was out with clients as recently as yesterday trying to get more money out of them. Yesterday, I, I got out of work. I met up with him. I went to see an apartment in Stratford. Then he asked me if I want if I had the security, and I said, I don't have this money right now. She didn't lose any money, but for people who did, it's a double blow. Cash lost and no home. I had um, a lady call me today to come look at an apartment, but I don't have no money. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, in a similar case, the realtor is accused of giving the keys to an apartment to a disabled woman. Then when she went to the apartment, she discovered that there were already people living inside. Now, Early was able to post bail, but if you do believe that you were one of his victims, give police a call. Live in News 8 Control, Neka Nuosu, News 8.